Hello and welcome back to Anchor Design. So today is going to be a very, very quick video and uh, it's about me being a bit tight. So I use these bowl sanders and these are just a rotary sander that kind of uses the revolutions of the bowl when you're turning to then spin this really, really fast and to take out some of those tool marks that you use with the lathe if you're not very good at turning bowls like me. So these come with these little pads here. They're quite expensive to buy. These are two inch, 50 millimeter little discs and they're really bad. So I seem to be going through quite a lot of these. So um, I have some much better quality um, sand paper, abrasive paper, whatever you want to call it, for a air power file sander that you use in bodywork. And these are what you get. So, what I've wanted to do is I've been experimenting with how to cut really nice circles out. I'm sure there's many, many ways to do it. I've tried doing it with a laser cutter, my cheap little marker that I've got, it didn't work. I've tried doing it with scissors and I was ruining every pair of scissors that I've got. So I have bought a two inch wad cutter, which is spelled W-A-D, I believe. And I got this one second hand. It cost me 20 pound, including delivery. This thing is an animal. Uh, these are typically made I try to buy British made ones, so people like Priory um, or Toga is what you should search for. And if you search for 50 mil, they're a lot more money. But if you go for a two inch one, uh, as I say, this was 20 quid. Don't really know why, uh, but these fit the sanding heads perfectly fine. So uh, let's jump over, show you what I'm kind of using as my setup. It's really easy. I thought I'd just share this little hack for you if you're like me and you're spending quite a lot of money on consumables doing your wood turning. Okay, this is quite literally my setup here. I've been experimenting with a, with a few things uh, using the, uh, this Rhino abrasive stuff that I've got and including Abrinet. Uh, but Abrinet's kind of designed to have the, uh, the airflow come out of this to, to help with dust extraction. I think it's a bit overkill and quite pricey for you to actually do this, hence why I'm using this. Uh, but again, you can buy like bulk buys of industrial sandpaper that fit really weird random sizes off the internet. So you can get like big, I don't know, 24 inch or whatever uh, dust sheets. And uh, you know, they do come up really cheap. But as I say, I've got these. Now the foam that I'm using, ideally what you'd use is like an engineering press rubber that you use for, uh, for big uh, hydroforming machines. But this is just some really, really dense orthotic foam, I struggle saying that, orthotic foam. And uh, this is for your shoes. So if, you, if you've got bad feet and you go see like a podiatrist or uh, someone like that, uh, what, they, what they make your insoles out of is this stuff and other different ranges. But it is super, super dense, super tough foam. And it's ideal for thwacking things on. So. Uh, I've got my wad cutter here, I've got my sheet, and I go abrasive down. Now my wad cutter, I'll show you how to sharpen this in a minute, uh, but all I do is hold this onto here like so, and I find a heavy hammer, or mallet I should say, and I don't want to mushroom this anymore, so I've just using a copper hide mallet. I've tried it with a rubber mallet, like a tent peg mallet, and it's just not quite heavy enough, uh, but this is doing the job okay. So really, really firm there. Give it a bit of a slap. And there you go. Like so, and then, and it fits your little uh, sanding pad. Now these do have bigger ones. You can get like the ones that I think are probably three or four inch, but I only tend to use the two inch um, because again, I just, I've only got a smallish lathe, so a medium sized lathe, but this works really, really well. I'll run very, very quickly through the sharpening and uh, just show you what I do it. It's not the, probably the best way of doing it, but that's how I do it. Okay, ignore the fact that this is a pro edge. I know it's gonna really upset some people that haven't got a pro edge. I know, I get it. But the important thing that we're actually looking at here is this little part here, which is uh, just some leather that I've cut out, not with this, uh, with, a, uh, with a scalpel. And I've just put these on a pigtail mandrel. Now you can get these for just your standard, um, uh, what do you call it, your standard uh, bench grinder. And you can put like polishing mops and that type of thing. Or you can strop this by hand, which I use, sorry about the janky camera, for my hand chisels is these diamond plates 
and I've got a leather strop that's on a hinge here that just folds up and away when I'm using it. But anyway, what we're doing here is I'm putting on a little bit of rouge, like so, holding it around here. Like so, and then I'm just gonna get my t-shirt. Don't show your missus doing this. She goes nuts when I do it. Give it a bit of a wipe, and I've got quite a nice cut edge. Now, it's a used tool. You can buy these new, I think, for around 50 quid. But again, it kind of defeats the object. Uh, maybe car boot sales when we're not in COVID, that type of thing. Uh, but you can get one of these uh, probably cheap, or you can just get yourself a bit of exhaust pipe and do exactly the same thing and sharpen up the edge. But when you're hitting it, I want this to last for quite some time. So you can just get some pipe that's two inch diameter, use the same, uh, but again, it's, I want to use a proper tool and it to work reliably. So I've got this, when I first had it, it the cutting edge was a, was a lot worse shape. Uh, so all I've done is you get these from Lidl now and again, which are little diamond, retractable diamond, I don't know, pens, I think they're called. And I just rest this down on a bed, on a bench and I'm just taking off the inside pushing that burr off and breaking that edge and now it's not super duper sharp it's not cat claw sharp but I can definitely feel that that's got a it's got a cutting edge on there that uh, it's going to work so now I've got a tool that's going to last me forever uh, it looks pretty cool and uh, it does the job really well so I've got uh, loads of these now that I can uh, crack on with uh, doing some bowl turning. So I uh, hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe for more being tight tips, tricks, and hacks. See you next time. Thank you.